Okay, today I'm reviewing Summer of Soul, a documentary that's on Disney Plus right now, made by Questlove. It's about a series of concerts that went on in Harlem in 1969. The way it was presented at first, I thought they were doing it almost as if it was a variety show, because it would like have a song and an artist would play, and sometimes there would people it would be people talking along with the song and like explain a certain event or something that was happening around that time and just and I thought it was strange you know it wasn't the typical documentary of just trying to explain something to you I guess but it was basically a showcase of this event and everything surrounding it like all the uh all the points of information of talking about like Martin Luther King's death or how black people were treated during the 60s. And just talking about these things surrounding the this event. Just to set a scene as you experience it. And that's kind of what it is. It's just an experience. One that really shows just how hard it was for the people of color living in Harlem at that time. All over the country, really. But, like, it, this this movie, like, really just show, showcased Harlem and uh, what it was like living there and being there during this concert. These concerts. I keep forgetting. It was actually over the course of six weekends. But it was basically the Woodstock of Harlem. Had some really famous bands showcasing it. And also, it was definitely a different scene than what you might expect for the some of the poorest sections of New York City during this time period. For the first, like, half of the movie, I was kind of bored with it, I think, and also a little confused by it. But then it also, it both, like, got better, but also I think I kind of under started to understand it more that it was all about this concert, or these series of concerts, and setting the scene for it, and, like, just creating this atmosphere around it and everything to, until it's really just built up in your mind as this really great event that was very unique for its time and never got to be shown in this way or talked about in this way until this documentary came out something like 60 years later almost. So it's just a very fascinating movie and, and an experience like I said and I do highly recommend it for anyone who loves music because it really did showcase a lot of different types of music too not just rock and roll like I think Woodstock pretty much that's all it was I think. Just the biggest rock bands at the time. So even though I was kind of maybe a little bored with it for the first half of the film, I think I'm going to forgive that. Because this film is very unique and very different from any documentary I think I've seen before. Or since. But I only just watched it today, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> but it was definitely a very unique experience, especially from a documentary. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. And it also does a good job of shining a light on, uh, I guess, racism. But the time period especially, and it was talking a lot about how the death of Martin Luther King and uh, other black leaders of the time really created a certain atmosphere surrounding this event and throughout the community of all peoples of color at the time. But it really was a unique experience and I, do, I did really enjoy it. I think I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10, even though there were maybe some slower parts that Maybe it could have been cut down a little bit, but it's still, I don't know, I just feel it's so unique and such an experience, and I feel when I watch it again, I'll maybe get it a little more, because I definitely, like, was expecting just your typical documentary, and this is definitely not that. So yeah, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. It was a great documentary, an interesting experience, and had some pretty great music throughout. So yeah, please like and subscribe, and tune in tomorrow for another review, probably. And, uh, as always, feel free to suggest something down in the comments below. I'll try to get to it sometime. <laughs>